Hello and welcome to my course where I teach you how to draw in short bite-sized lessons. This is part number three, so if you want to get to part number one, I'll leave a card up here and you can go and follow that there. Today I'm going to show you how to sharpen your pencils. There's two different tips that I sharpen. Let me show you how I do them. We're all used to our pencils being sharpened like this using just a, a standard sharpener. But when drawing, we need more than that. So we sharpen our pencil like this, where we've exposed a bit more of the lead, but still have a sharp point, and that's fabulous for drawing detail work. Then I also use a chisel point. So the chisel point has been shaved, so that is thinner on, and tapering thinner towards that side like that. Then on this side, he has a bit of an angle to him, like that. And this guy allows you to do also fine detail work, but long lines and broad shadings. So there's your detail, and there's more your shading kind of pencil. So we need to know how to sharpen all of those. And for that, we need a little bit of equipment. The first thing we need is a sharpener. The next one is a craft knife or a carpet knife. And lastly, we also need a piece of sandpaper. So the sandpaper that I've got over here is an art slash drafting sanding pad. And as you can see, I've never used mine because I use this. And this is just a standard piece of sandpaper that I've bought at the hardware store. And it is a 80 but it doesn't really matter. Any any piece of sandpaper you've got lying around the house in in the garage or in your shed, grab that. He's perfect for this. So as far as sharpeners are concerned, you do get different ones that give you longer and shorter shave on the tip. So this one here is one that I've got at the art store, which does shave longer than a standard tip. And I'll show you the difference in a second. So as you can see, it comes through to a narrower point than usual. And you get other sharpeners that give you an even narrower and sharper, longer point than that, as you can see over there. So the advantage of having a nice long point like this is that the tip stays sharper for longer. So you can draw longer before you have to go and sharpen your pencil. When you have a just a standard little sharpener like that, you'll find that you're constantly having to resharpen your your pencil. So this uh, super long one here is from a an electric sharpener. I have a separate video on that. I'll leave a card in the top and you can go and take a look at that video where I compare different sharpening methods. For now, all you need to know is just have a, you can even use just a standard sharpener because we're going to sharpen him even further using a knife. So I take the craft knife and I open it. Now, if you, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to hold the knife in my right hand. Then you hold the pencil on the inside of your hand like this, holding it like that, so that your thumb is on top. Because the method that we're going to use to cut is like this. You're going to hold the knife in one hand, and you're going to press with your thumb with the other hand. And your thumb is going to do the cutting. So depending on how much pressure you add on your thumb is how much you're going to cut. So you'll find you, you're never cutting like, you're not whittling away at the, at the pencil. It's a, it's a very controlled shave, like that. See there? It's a very controlled shave. There's no slipping or sliding or anything like that happening. And that gives me a super accurate cut. And it allows me to cut just gradually, like this, all the way around the pencil. And as I do, what's happening is I'm now gradually exposing more and more of the lead. Now the way you, you have full control and, and you're not snapping off your lead or hurting your lead at all is with your right hand, the hand that's holding the knife. 
the hand that's holding the knife is controlling the angle of the cut. So what's happening is, as I'm cutting, I'm taking this knife and I'm turning him like this. In other words, I'm, I'm changing the angle and the depth of the cut. So I'm starting off sharp, and then as I get to the tip, I'm flattening it out. Let's take a look at that from the side. Can you see how I start with a sharp angle? And then I gradually level it out to meet the graphite. And then after every cut, you see I turn the pencil ever so slightly so that I'm exposing the graphite all the way around the pencil. Okay, when you put your knife down, always close it just as a safety precaution. So now, can you see I've got a nice long, got a nice long sharp point that I can draw with for ages. So now at this point, obviously this doesn't fit into your, your pencil sharpener anymore. And that's where the piece of sandpaper comes in. So if this guy, as you're drawing, he starts to become blunt, then you just take your sandpaper and you just sharpen him on the sandpaper. Just like that. And doing that, you can get yourself a super sharp tip with which to draw. All right. So that's our round point. Now let me show you how to create yourself a chisel point. So just to remind you, let me show you what the chisel point looks like. He's got a flat edge over there like that. And then he tapers on either side to a nice sharp point. Great. So with this point, you don't need to start off with a sharpening the pencil going to go straight to the knife and you're going to take your knife and choose one side and just cut it off at an angle like this but you cut through past your into your um, lead as well so let me show you that from the side you've cut through into the lead so that you've shaved off some of the lead. Can you see that? So what you want is a nice flat side like that. Now you're going to take your pencil and you're going to turn him 180 degrees so that that flat side is now on the bottom. And you're going to do the same on the top. Like that. Can you see? Now you're you creating yourself a nice, beautiful chisel point. So all you're going to do now is just turn this a few times and just shave your point so that it goes nice and gradually narrower and narrower. And as you do, you're going to notice that this tip over here is starting to flatten out. And once it does, then you can grab yourself a scrap piece of paper. Then you hold the pencil at a 45 degree angle, like that. Or whatever angle is just comfortable for you, whatever angle you're going to naturally draw at. Hold it at that angle and just scratch over this random piece of paper. And if you want to really speed that process up, you can use your, your sandpaper. What you're looking for is just a nice flat point like that. So look here, now you can draw nice flat shadings like this. And quickly fill up large areas. Instantly you can turn this guy upside down and draw super sharp lines like that. And if you need to do even broader shadings, you can now turn this guy and hold it in your hand like this. And now you can shade in 
really large areas really quickly. And that's something that you can't do when you've got the, the sharp point pencil. The sharp point pencil is just great for doing detail work, super fine details, and you can do little bits of shading, small little areas because of the sharp tip, but not large areas. But we don't just draw with pencils. We also draw with graphite dust. So in the next lesson, I'm going to teach you all about graphite dust. I'll leave a link for that right down here and in the description for the video. Then, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe so that I can inform you when I add new lessons to the course. And if you want to go and take a look at my drawing and painting classes on my website, I've left a link for you on the screen. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next class.